Hi, this is Jason, and today I'm reviewing Bullet Train, directed by David Leach and stars Brad Pitt, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Brian Tyree Henry, and Joey King. And it's about Brad Pitt's character as this unlucky assassin called the Ladybug who tries to do his job peacefully after too many gigs that have gone downhill. But fate had a different way of doing it with other assassins from around the world coming in the train with him and trying to kill him. But then they all realize that they're all connected on the same mission that they're trying to go through. And that puts them on a serious risk while they're all doing it on this train throughout the majority of this movie. David Leitch is considered one of the best stunt doubles of all time with films like Blade and Fight Club, which by the way, he was Brad Pitt's stunt double in Fight Club, so there's kind of a good connection with that. And when it comes to his action films, he hasn't made some of the best, but he's made some enjoyable ones. Sure, Atomic Blonde wasn't all that great, but I liked Deadpool 2 and Hobbs and Shaw. They were pretty fun. They were just fun and enjoyable action films. And that's what Bullet Train is, just a fun action film. It's not an amazing film, it does have some issues which I'll get to later, but this movie is still a lot of fun to watch in the theater. The action is very intense and brutal, and it's always on camera. You actually see everything that's going on in those fight scenes, and the stunt doubles did a really good job with those action scenes. There's one action scene between Brad Pitt and Aaron Taylor Johnson that's really fast and hardcore, and easily the best thing in this film is the action. That's what you would want to see in this film on the big screen. The acting is pretty good. Brad Pitt is good with his usual humor and likability for his character that we've seen him in recently with Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Both Aaron Taylor Johnson and Brian Tyree Henry are great together. They have really good chemistry together, and the humor that they deliver throughout the film always landed for me. Speaking of the humor, this movie does have some pretty funny moments, most of them coming from Taylor Johnson and Tyree Henry. Everything they deliver in this film when it comes to humor did make me laugh quite a bit, but I tried not to laugh too hard so that I wouldn't disturb anyone else around me in the theater. And without spoiling, there's a certain object that appears in the third act that I really didn't expect to feel like a character at all because you see it a couple of times throughout the film and it, they use it in a pretty cool way in the third act and I never realized that they wanted to go with that until it just appeared and it's pretty cool that they decided to do that. Now as for issues, there are some characters in this film that don't always get their arcs resolved and what I mean by that is that you learn about who who they are through flashbacks and you get what their motives are and why they're on this train but they don't always get their arcs resolved in those scenes and they are either barely mentioned or just fade into the background. Speaking of flashbacks, they can get a little annoying when they appear a lot throughout the film. I mean it's not like that bad but Sometimes it can come off as lazy writing for them to just constantly use flashbacks to explain every character throughout the film. Sometimes this film can drag in some scenes, like as I said, the flashbacks can kind of overstay their welcome, and I would have liked them to at least remove like 15 minutes of the film with those flashbacks that didn't really need to be there. Bullet Train is a fun and enjoyable watch in the theater. Sure, it does have some issues, like some of the subplots getting shelved and it focuses on some characters that aren't always interesting, but it has really good action, really good stunt work, good acting, good humor, and both Brad Pitt Aaron Taylor Johnson and Brian Tyree Henry kept the movie watchable for me, and they're in this movie a lot. I'm gonna give Bullet Train a B. I know this review did kind of feel fast because there are other reviews I'm trying to do after this one, so stay tuned for reviews like The Gray Man, Lightyear, and Day Shift. Look forward to those. So guys, if you have seen Bullet Train, what did you think about it? Did you think it was one of the best action films in recent years, or did you think this film was bad? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you liked this review, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing, because if you haven't, then why? Come on, please hit that subscribe button for me, please. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.